Good evening, Jocelyn. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Um, congrats. You are the first in the class. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay, let us wait for the rest, okay? A couple of minutes, then we're going to start. We have a lot of work to do today, okay? Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, yesterday you had a homework, right? You had an activity. You were in church of uh, presenting something. Let me see. I will check over here. No estuve ayer en la clase, pero justo uh, a las ocho empecé a ver el, el, la grabación de la clase de ayer. Traté de, de hacer porque unos minutitos me quedaron nada más para empezar esta clase y hice un par de líneas. Uh, do you want to share it now? Ahorita. Yeah, so let us take sí, advantage sí, sí, of sí. time. Okay. We only have one hour, okay? Okay, okay Jocelyn, sí. go ahead. My neighborhood is a quiet place to live. There are many green areas. In general, my neighbors are friendly and it is nice to live here. There are two restaurants near me. My favorite restaurant is Chinese food. I like to order food, food on weekends. In my neighborhood, we have a park to practice sports and play. On weekends, every, everyone goes for a walk, run, and a sport. It's very nice. It is very nice. Oh, thanks for doing your best. All right. Thanks for doing your best. Okay, yesterday uh, we were like discussing something regarding to that part. Okay, uh, meanwhile the people gather, we can we can like practice a little bit. Uh, we were um, talking about um, quantifiers, there is and there are. Okay, and let me see. I will share, we start now, meanwhile the people get uh, connected to the class and we, we we will practice, okay, uh, Jocelyn? Okay, teacher. Do you see the information there? Yes, teacher. I yeah, all right. all right. So uh, this is an eye check, and it says that uh, we're going to use uh, quantifiers, okay, countable and non-countable nouns. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have the first one right now. Let me... Let me let me know if this word is countable or non-countable. Is uncountable? It's uncountable, right? So if and then we have there is. What do you think? Much. The answer? There is much. All right. Much is para para no contable, ¿verdad? Exactly. There's Entonces, much. Many sería para los los que sí se pueden contar. It, yeah, that's right. But I think there are more, right? So then we have let's see it says. Quantifiers, right? And also we have much or many. So let me see. There are restaurants. Restaurants countable are... or non-countable? Countable. Countable. So what's the answer over here? There are many restaurants. There are many restaurants. Hey, I can see that there are some other people in the class. We are having some review. Meanwhile, the other people gather, all right? Jocelyn, Ada, Claudia, Dennis. Gisela, good to see you in the class. Moses, uh, uh, on time as always. Hey, congratulations. We're going to start, all right? This is just to have some review. Later, you will see I have, I mean, I have another activity for you to uh, work today. Now, crime, countable or non-countable? Non-countable. What's the answer there? Much. There is much crime. There is much crime. Number four, traffic. Much. There is much traffic. There is much traffic. Number five, apartment buildings. It's there are many. There are many apartment buildings. Many. All right, people. Jocelyn is like answer. Bring all of them. Now, if you want to help her, that would be all right. This is just for you to have some review. Pollution, countable or non-countable? Uncountable? That's uncountable now. Uh, what's the answer there? 
Good evening, Claudia. Good to see you in the class. A little. There is a little pollution. A little? A little. A little pollution. Number two, shopping centers. Contable. It's contable. What's the answer? Contable. There are many. No, there are a few. There are a few. Ah, yeah, it's because directions are different over here, right? Because they say, choose uh, for these exercises, choose between a few and a little, right? So you don't have, you have only two options. And we have schools in the neighborhood. What's the answer? A few. A few. There are a few. There are a few. There are a few. Number four, we have traffic again. There is, there is a, a, little. a little. There is a little. Number five, we have uh, traffic lights. Are a few. There are a few. a few. There are a few traffic lights. Part three. Hey, traffic over here, you're is going to use isn't any, aren't any. All right? Isn't any or aren't any. And we have taxis in the first one. Aren't any. There aren't any taxi in this part. There part. aren't. Aren't, right? See, there aren't any. Any. All right. Give me the give me the complete sentence, please. Number two, traffic. Isn't. There isn't. Isn't any. There isn't any traffic. Number three. Public transportation. They aren't any parking space. And, no, and number three, number excuse three. Excuse me, teacher, excuse me, teacher. Don't, don't worry, don't <laughs> worry. You are, you are doing a great job, okay? You are very concentrated, go ahead. Isn't, <gasps> isn't uh, any. Isn't any or aren't any? Number isn't, three. Isn't any. Are. Isn't any. Isn't well, we, ha we have public isn't. transportation. Is public transportation uh, countable or non-countable, people? Mm. It's not countable. It's non-countable. You, you don't say one public transportation, two public transportations. No, you say one bus, no. two buses, one taxi, two taxis. All right? Now, what's the answer then? Isn't or aren't? Isn't. Isn't. Well, some people say isn't, some people say aren't. Any. Well, let us try with isn't. Isn't any. This is any. Let's see. Number four, parking parking spaces. And I don't know. Aren't. There aren't any? There aren't any, any mm -hmm. parking spaces. And the last one, there a crime again. Isn't. Any. Isn't. Any, isn't any. Okay, so remember, we are having some review about what we studied, what we started yesterday. Now let's see the answers, people. We did this exercise yesterday, right? Much, much, many, many. A much over here. Okay, number four is all right, no problem. Number five is also correct. Number one in the second part. Number two, number three, number four. Number five, a few. Okay, very good. Third part, isn't any, isn't any, aren't any. Oh, this is, this was my fault. All right, aren't any. I forgot to type any. And the last one, isn't any, what? Actually, you got a 10. You did a great job. All right. This is what we were studying yesterday. Okay. And today we're going to try to finish people with the activities. I have a, an activity for you to be working on today. And I hope that you have uh, already finished your, your midterm. All right. And I, I, I will ask uh, people over here. Let me see. Uh, do you finish your midterm, people? No, yeah, at this sure. moment, I stay in the middle. Uh, you are still in a, at the middle. And what about the rest? Gisela, Jocelyn, Claudia, Moses, 
Uh, everybody, what can you tell me about the midterm? That's important. Remember, quite important. It's very important for you to uh, finish it. And I to get it. You, uh, all right. How was the percentage? You got eighty percent, ninety percent, or one hundred. You don't remember? I have eighty percent. Eighty percent. Wow! Great job. That's what we are looking for, right? That you get eighty percent, ninety percent, or one hundred percent will be perfect. All right. But less than that, mm, I think it, it's. Uh, I mean, it is better if you get a high grade, a high grade, a eighty percent, ninety percent, or one hundred percent will be perfect. All right. So tomorrow we're going to have some review about it. Okay. Tomorrow's class is going to be about midterm review. But today, uh, well, I will continue uh, with this part. Okay, uh, we're going to try to finish this part today because um, yes. uh, over here, we're going to have the, the opportunity to read an article, right? From a magazine. You're going to develop uh, scanning and, and reading huh? for details. Hello. Hello, do you listen to me? Hello, people? Yes, sure. Yes, okay. 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 <laughs> I got scared. I, I thought I had problems with my internet, but no, right? Fortunately, we don't have any problem. Okay, so uh, we're going to go over the reading activity. Okay. Uh, the word in one neighborhood. Okay, we're going to read this part just to have an idea about what the activity will be all about tonight. And then you are going to start working on something that I have uh, prepared for you. Now the instructions over here are about reading the article and check the things you can find in Estonia. There are six, all right? And we're gonna see the, 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 the reading and then you have like different options over here, but you need to choose only six of these options. All right? In expensive stores, big apartments, good schools, beautiful beaches, a great markets, not nice restaurants, many different cultures, interesting old buildings, good public transportation. All right, and we're gonna go over the lecture. We're gonna see the, the reading. Some of you are going to help me and we're going to analyze later, all right? Now be ready, please. Now I will ask one person to read this part. And let me see, today is the 23rd. Okay, Ada, Ada, Miss Burgos or Mrs. Burgos, could you please read the first part? Well, what is the topic, people? That were in one neighborhood. Remember, yesterday we were talking about neighborhood, right? We are going to learn how to scan an article. We are gonna check uh, the countries that are not mentioned. Well, you have Brazil, China, India, Japan, Pakistan, Romania, and Thailand. And, but I, I want you to read the first, the first part. I mean, everybody's going to participate, I hope. So, Ada Agar, please, could you, could you read the first part? The sidewalks are crowded with the Indian women in yeah. colorful, traditional dress. A woman on the corner is selling Chinese cake, a new song from a Romanian band is playing in a restaurant. Is it Indian, China, Romania? No, it's Astoria, a neighborhood in Queens, New York, New York City, 
Astoria was once a mostly Greek neighborhood, but the arts is changing fast. New president from India, Pakistan, Thailand, China, and all over the United States are moving in. Uh, all right. So let us let us uh, make a pause there. Let us let us let us stop for a while. Now, as you could see, I'm all the time like uh, underlining some words. What I want you to do is to investigate pronunciation. Okay. Now let us say something. I'll open a dictionary online or open the Google Translator and tell me how do you pronounce this word? Abran por favor en sus ordenadores, ya sea un traductor o un diccionario y díganme cómo se pronuncian estas palabras. Todos las vamos a aprender, all right? Whenever you get it, tell me. Number one, number two, number three. This is number three. Cuando ya tengan, cuando ya la tengan, me dice number four, eh, number five. Okay, so we're going to try to memorize as many as many words as possible, as much vocabulary as possible. Vamos a ir intentando eh, memorizarnos cuanto vocabulario podamos, okay? So, if you don't know the meaning of the words, si tampoco saben el significado de las palabras, Pueden buscarlas y memorizar lo que significan, ¿ok? Ok, who got number one? Let me see, let me see if I... Eh, Christian, I wonder if you got number one. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Vamos a hacer algo. No. Okay, I, I need volunteers, but I, I, I want you to get the, the, the pronunciation. Let's try to get it as quickly as possible. Okay, number one. Crowded. Crowded. Crowded, right? Is that right? Crowded. Okay, number two. Women. Women. Very good. That's fantastic. Women. Number three. Woman. 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 All right. So it's different, right? Over here we have women and over here we have woman, right? Number four. Once. Once. Perfect. Once. And number five. Area. 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 area right that's fantastic very good great job so uh, we're going to do something i will ask another person to read okay ahora ahora vamos a ver alguien que me que me ayude a leerlo nuevamente fijándose en las palabras que hemos seleccionado Jonel. thank you Jonel. hola ahorita okay Jonel, go ahead the sides walls are crowded with Indian women. Women in, or women? Well, women. All Indian right. women in colorful tradition dress. A woman on the, the, the corner is selling Chinese cake. A new song from a Romanian band is playing in a restaurant. All it right. is India, China. Romania? No, it's Estonia. Astoria. A uh, neighborhood in Queens, New York City. Todo. Please, please. Uh, Astoria was once a mostly Greek neighborhood, but the area is changing fast. New residents from India, Pakistan, Thailand, China, and all over the United States are moving in. Fantastic. Now, uh, I, I, I will try to, to teach you the way you should study uh, when whenever you are practicing English and when the teacher is not present, right? Uh, lo que estoy tratando de hacer es, es que ustedes cuando no estén eh, 
en la sesión, que no haya ningún teacher con usted, puedan utilizar ese tipo de técnicas para aprender más. Si yo, por ejemplo, no sé qué es crowded, ok, voy y lo busco en, el, en, en, en internet y, e inclusive me memorizo la, la pronunciación. Lo leo una vez, ya encontrando la pronunciación, estando certero de cómo se pronuncian las palabras, lo leo una segunda vez y así voy mejorando mi pronunciación. All right, something else that, that I, I want you to take into consideration is that Well, if you if you look for the meaning of the words in English, uh, I mean, if, because you don't know the meaning, you I, I highly recommend you to get the meaning in English also. Okay. Cuando no encuentren, digamos, cuando sepan una palabra en inglés, busquen su significado, pero en inglés, inglés, inglés. Ahora, cuando, cuando tengan el resultado, inglés, inglés, y aún así tienen dificultades, entonces, sí, búsquenlo en español. Dejemos el español como última opción. ¿Les parece? Yes, teacher. All right, very good. So, esos son mis consejos como para que avancemos un poquito más rápido. Let's go over the next part. Uh, let me see. Next part, people. Next part. Okay, next part, uh, I will ask somebody else to read. Let me see, someone else. Uh, David Roberto? No, David is not here. Uh, Claudia Lisette? Yes, teacher. Uh, Claudia, read the second part, please. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, ne they never received in Boeing many. Tradition, this is the tradition bread order to make. Asturia truly multi, multi, multicultural, sería, uh, 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 Okay, if you don't know, okay, you are going to investigate it, don't worry. Okay. Uh, when people are some around, some around them and different, different cultures, they adopt, they did it by day and like. Like says, uh, one residence here is Turia, is it is surprising and that in India, uh, Seria, women, uh, um, women, <laughs> se me olvidó como se pronuncia, teacher. All right. Sorry, <laughs> and well, Seria, but Seria, y o vice. Mexican, Boys. By, sorry, Mexican, uh, me Mexican tortillas, tortillas from a Korean uh, grocery store is one on the dressing that makes the neighbor special. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, you see, don't worry if you notice that I'm underlining a lot of words. It, it, I mean, it doesn't matter, okay? Because that, that means that we um, need to um, uh, learn more vocabulary. That's the only thing about this activity. Uh, no se preocupen si miran que empiezo a subrayar algunas palabras, si algunos pueden considerar que son muchas, otras que muy poquitas. Pues eso no, pues realmente no interesa. Lo que interesa es que tengamos claro cómo se pronuncia todo y lo que dice acá, ¿ok? To, to get the meaning, okay? So do me the favor to look for pronunciation about these words, please. Number one, number two, number three. Ya le voy a preguntar, okay? Uh, number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. And number eight. All right, so try to get the right pronunciation, people. Oh, sorry for that. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry for my, my numbers, okay? Okay, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A. Okay, I will give you like four minutes for you to get the, the pronunciation of the words, to practice them, and to let us know about how to pronounce 
to pronounce them. Now, if you got the first, you can raise your hand and share it with the group. La primera sería blend. Blend. Hey, what's the meaning of the word blend? Blend together. Blend together. What's the meaning? How do you say that? Blend. All right. Very good. So you need to be clear about the vocabulary. How do you pronounce number two? Okay, every, everybody. If be, now, pay special attention because there are some people who are providing pronunciation. Blend is the first one. Second one. How do you pronounce second one? Multicultural. All right, fantastic. Multicultural. Very good. Uh, what, what's the meaning of the word? Multicultural. Excellent. So that's in Spanish. Very good. Now, what about pronunciation of word, uh, word number three? Surrender. Ah. That's the way you listen to in, in the internet? Surrounding. Uh, surrounded, right? That's number three. Very good. Now, what's the meaning? Rodeado. All right. By different, by different. Number four. By different what? Cultures. Cultures, all right. Yes. Cultures, cultures. Okay, remember, there, there, uh, at the end, somebody else is going to read the, the information again. Now, what about this word? Surprising. Surprising. All right, surprising. Surprising. Very good. What about number six? Hey, remember about the pronunciation of this word. I, we just studied about it. Eyes. Huh? Woman. That's woman, right? Eyes. So if we have, uh, yeah, that's a woman, woman. Uh, and the plural, what's the plural? Women. Right. Women, right. One woman, two women. Okay, one woman and two women. Hey, what about this word, number seven? Grocery. Grocery store, right? So in the number eight. Neighborhood. 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 Okay. Neighborhood. Uh, neighborhood. All right. Now let us practice. Uh, I need a volunteer. Someone who haven't participated in a class. Alguien que no ha participado, que me ayude a leerlo, por favor. Yo dicha. Uh, ok, Simara. The new resident bring, bring many tradition. This tradition blends together to make a story. Truly multicultural when people are surrendered by different cultures. They adopt the things that they like. Say one resident here and Astoria. It isn't surprising that an Indian woman buys Mexican tortillas from a Korea grocery store. It's one of the things that makes the neighborhood special. All right, very good. So there's the something people. Uh, I will ask you to, to take a picture with your, with your cell phone so that you can practice the vocabulary we are underlining and we are just paying special attention tonight. Tómenle foto, porfa, lo que estamos señalando y practiquen, memorícense ese vocabulario eh, significado y pronunciación, ¿ok? Please, please, please. 
Eh, ah, there is something. To, que uno le tome foto y que lo comparta en el grupo. Así todo lo tienen automáticamente. Now, do you do it? I will continue until I see the picture in the group. Voy a continuar cuando vea la, la foto en el grupo. All right, very good, fantastic. Now, let's go over the next part. Vamos con la otra parte. That's number three, right? So it's, I think it is the last one, right? Let me see, all right, let's, let me see. All right. Now, I need another volunteer. El teacher. All right, Maria Elena, go ahead. It is a surprise that Astoria is becoming a very popular place to live. The rent are reasonable. The neighborhood is safe and it has very good public transportation. There there are inexpensive store, many nice restaurants, and good fresh fruit and vegetable market. And Astoria is a comfortable place to live. Apartments are usually a big and roomy as one long time residents say we like anywhere else. Astoria has it all. Has it all. All right, very has good. Now, yeah, so we have different vocabulary once again. Now start looking for the word. Comiencen a buscar, por favor, la pronunciación significados en lo que yo les escribo los números, all right? Luego voy a comenzar a preguntar, así randomly, al azar. One, two, three, four, five. No me van a hacer burla por mis números. Number six and seven, right? So six will be like the same. Six, seven. Eight, nine. Oh, we got ten new words. Ten. Okay, we got ten new words. So we have we're gonna have ten participants. Eli, um, sharing information tonight. All right. Okay, let me know. If you got the first word, you can share it with the group. How do you pronounce the word number one, people? Surprising. Surprising. All right, very good. Hope everybody is like paying special attention to the to the to the sound of the word. Okay, what about number two? Popular. 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 Now, do you listen popular. to the word po or popular. popular? Po or popular. popular. Now, how do you listen to the word in the internet? Po popular or popu popular? Popular. Popular. Ah, all right, so. You gotta be careful about it, right? Because the word is, is uh, typed in this case, it's written down with O, but that uh, that O is pronounced pronounced a little bit different, right? So it is not po popular, no, popular. What about this word, number three? Leave. Leave, all right, leave, leave, leave. Hey, hey, what's the meaning of the word popular? 
popular. All right. What's the meaning of the word surprising? Sorprendente. Excellent. Uh, what is the meaning of this verb? Number three, to live. Vivir. Excellent. Mm -hmm. What are, what the pronunciation about number? Uh, this, this, reasonable. This reasonable. 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 What's the meaning? Reasonable. Reasonable. All right. Very good. What's the meaning? Uh, what's the pronunciation of the word number four? Public. Public. Perfect. Public, Public. 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 transportation. Public. What's the meaning of the word number five? Inexpensive. Inexpensive. What's the meaning of the word? No es caro. All right, very good. Then we have number number six. We have two words. What about this one? This word? Fruit. Fruit. This vegetable. one? Vegetable. 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 All right. I know you love vegetables. Do you love vegetables? Yes. Yes, I love it. I hate vegetables. <laughs> I, I don't like, but anyway, we have to eat them, right? Hey, what about the word number seven? Comfortable. Uh, comfortable. Uh, somebody got it, right? Comfortable, right? Comfortable. What's the meaning? Comfortable. Uh, all right. Then we have number eight? Usually. Usually, Usually. all right. Usually. Number nine, we still have the same problem over here. Now we know how to pronounce it. Live. Live. And the last one, number 10. Else. 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 Anywhere else. All right. Now I will ask someone else to read the information. Everything. All right. Uh, Marco, please do me the favor to read the information again. Marco, I know you are there. Christian says comfortable. All right, thank you, Christian. Hello. Now, a volunteer, please. Mar Marco seems, well, Marco is not in the class today. Wow, that is, let me see. That is weird because Marco gets into the class all the time. Let me see. Oscar Antonio, read the information, please. Number three. Number three. No, I mean, read the whole information, please. Now, people, uh, listen, remain. Chicos, recuerden, por favor, cerrar sus micrófonos si no, si no están participando para que no haya interferencia, por favor. Um, okay, Oscar, please, read the whole info. Toda la info, Oscar. It is not so fine. No, but... wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, wait. Listen, that's why we are doing this, uh, this activity. Cuando buscamos el, el, el significado y la pronunciación, hay que memorizarlo. Okay, what's the pronunciation of this word, Oscar? Surprising. Los Surprising. Niños All right. Surprising. Surprising. Very good. Now go ahead, Oscar. It is not surprising that a uh, story is becoming a very pop popular place to live. Uh, to you live? Uh, wait, wait a minute, uh, uh, Oscar. Aprendimos que la, esta se pronuncia to live or to live? To live. All oh, right, so to live. To live. Need to live. The rents are reason reasonable. No, uh, people, why don't we help Oscar? ¿Cómo se pronuncia esta palabra? Somebody who remembers quite well the word. Ayudémosle, porfa. Reasonable. 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 Fantastic. Reasonable. Excellent, reasonable. Oscar. Uh, reasonable. The neighborhood is safe and it has very good public transportation there are 
An expensive store, many nice restaurants, and good fresh fruit. Fruit. Um, fruit. Fruit. Um, uh, wait a minute. Fruit. Do we say fruit or fruit? Fruit. All right. Um. Vegetable. Oh, uh, why don't we help Oscar, people? Once again, are you there? Let's travel, Oscar. How do you pronounce Vegetable. this word? Vegetable. Uh, vegetable. Okay. Vegetable. Uh, thank you, Oscar. So you know, vegetable markets. Vegetable markets. And Astoria is a comfortable. No. Uh, how do you pronounce this word, people? Comfortable. All right. Moses knows. Comfortable. Comfort. Com Comfortable. 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 All right. Very good. Comfortable. Please okay. to live. To live. Apartments are usually big. Good. And and yes. room. Roomy. Ruby. As one long time residents say. While I live L lie anywhere. No, lie. no, Oscar. Why lie or why why live? Why live? All right. Anywhere else. Astoria has it all. Astoria has it all. Okay, please. Take a picture, tomenle foto, porfa, y lo comparten en el grupo. Acuérdense que lo vamos a, a, a practicar hasta que lo, man, nos lo aprendamos súper bien ese vocabulario. Thank you, Claudia. Wow. Thank you, Dennis. Excellent. Okay. Now, now keep practicing that because sooner or later I will ask you uh, about it. Tarde o temprano les voy a volver a, a preguntar respecto a esto, cómo lo están leyendo, ¿ok? Sí. Now, now that we got this info, Okay. Now that we got the, the information and we read about it, okay, we can have like the the activity. We can develop the activity. I hope that you were like um getting information also about it. What 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 do you remember? Que es lo que se acuerdan de la lectura, okay? De las cosas que encontraron en Astoria. Let us see. Inexpensive stores? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Uh, remember, we're going to choose six. Did we see information about big apartments? Yes. 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 Big apartments. What about good schools? No. 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 We, we, did, we, didn't, we didn't read any information about good schools. No. Now, no. what about beautiful no. beaches? No. 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 no? Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you read something related to great markets. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. We got some info about it, right? What about nice restaurants? Yes. 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 So we got some info about it. What about many different cultures? Yes. 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 All right. And what about in interesting old buildings? No. 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 Uh, we didn't. We didn't read. What about good public transportation? Yes. 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 Okay, I think we are missing one, but I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm mistaken. We're gonna check it now, all right? Let's see, all we're right. gonna see the answers. Oh wow. All of them are you got them, right? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Pretty good. Congrats. Congrats. All right. So now let us move. I will stop sharing this info because I need to start working in something different, okay? I will let you know about it, okay? And let me see.
Give me one second, please. Give me one second, please. Now look at the chat. Look at the chat. Now what did what do you see in the chat? What's the information about the chat? What is the topic in the chat? The coolest neighborhoods in the US. The coolest neighborhoods in the US. Okay, so that's uh, what we're going to start working on. And I, I will switch into Spanish just for a while because I want you to have it as clearly as possible. Uh, I, I want you to have the activity in your minds as clearly as possible. The coolest neighborhoods in the US. Los vecindarios más eh, bonitos en los Estados Unidos. Por ahí están algunos que ustedes pueden elegir. Deben elegir uno, ok, de todos esos. Y deben buscar información respecto al que ustedes han elegido. Por supuesto, en inglés todo. No vayan a buscar información en español y luego la quieran pasar al inglés. No, no funciona así el aprender el segundo idioma. Primero buscamos en inglés toda la información. Y la, analizamos la información y empezamos a buscar palabras así como estuvimos leyendo hace poco. Ok, identificamos palabras que no conocemos, mmm, investigamos la pronunciación e investigamos el significado. Ok, ya luego lo volvemos a leer y pues se van a dar cuenta que la comprensión va a ser más amplia. Si acaso no, no va a ser al 100%. Si todavía falta algo, entonces hay que leerla una tercera vez de modo tal que logremos entender la información a un 100%. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer con la información que obtengamos? Van a preparar una pequeña presentación, ya sea de, de un minuto y medio o dos minutos, respecto al lugar que ustedes eligieron. ¿Ok? Pueden ser inclusive de 40 segundos, 30 segundos, lo que ustedes quieran invertir en la clase, ¿ok? Siéntense libres respecto a eso, porque resulta que algunos pues sienten que las actividades son muy difíciles, o, o, otros sienten que las actividades son muy fáciles, entonces vamos a ir jugando con eso de los tiempos. El que quiera eh, cumplir con dos, con dos minutos, perfecto. El que quiera cumplir con un minuto, perfecto. El que quiera cumplir con 40 segundos, perfecto. It's up to you. Eh, va a depender de, de, de su ritmo de aprendizaje. ¿Ok? Uh, lo otro, um, ahorita van a empezar a buscar información respecto a eso. Me van a leer algo, algo que les cautivó respecto al lugar que eligieron. Pero para la otra semana, porque esta actividad va a ser para la próxima semana, cuando sea el momento de presentar, yo voy a, pedir, voy a solicitar voluntarios, ¿ok? Tampoco los voy a estar obligando a que, a que este, digan las cosas. No, eh, tiene que surgir de cada quien, de ca el interés por participar de cada quien. Y um, ese día, el lunes, uh, las personas que participen no vayan a leer la información. ¿Ok? Demuéstrense primeramente a ustedes que han aprendido la información, la pronunciación y que pues se van a, se van a mandar en la clase. ¿Ok? Se van a mandar y van a empezar a notar que sus logros o sus objetivos, perdón, están teniendo um, resultados positivos, que están aprendiendo. De esa manera, ustedes mismos van a ser capaces de ir eh, notando su, su avance en el idioma. Ok, cada vez que yo participo y hago lo que el teacher está solicitando, ok, eso quiere decir que, haya, que ha habido un avance. Ok, entonces buscan, empiezan a buscar información acerca de esos lugares. 
um, le voy a dar que cinco minutos, cinco minutos, y ya luego voy a preguntar que me digan una idea respecto a lo que encontraron. Una oracióncita puede ser. Mientras ustedes hacen eso, yo voy a terminar de pasar la lista y al final solo corroboramos quienes estuvieron presentes, ¿ok? Acuérdense cómo hicimos el ejercicio ahora. Prácticamente nos llevamos la hora completa en hacer ese ejercicio. All right. I hope that you could get some info about a place. You will tell me about the place you chose, and then you will tell me a little. I mean, uh, one sentence will be all right. Con una oración que me digan acerca del, del lugar está perfecto. Okay, I will ask only five. I, I need uh, three, three volunteers, three to four volunteers. Okay, Dennis, go ahead. What's the place that you chose? I prefer downtown Los Angeles. Okay, downtown Los downtown Los Angeles is fantastic future when he has free Wi-Fi. <laughs> when you have free Wi-Fi. Okay, thank you, Dennis. Now you know you know your, your job, right? Now you you have to start uh, looking for information about that place and start memorizing and start practicing. Uh, the vocabulary, okay? And also you have to be 100% uh, sure about uh, the meaning of all the words there. Pretty good. Is there any other volunteer, second volunteer? Only one people, not everybody at the same time. Not everybody at the same time. Only okay, one person. I select. Oh, okay. Yeah. I select the wing in Miami uh, for uh, its many colorful murals. All right. So you chose a place in Miami, Moses. Sorry? You chose uh, the place in Miami, right? Yes, we will. Yeah. All right, very good. So start investigating about it and you know on Monday you're going to provide more information or further information about it. Thank you, Moses. Is there any, I mean, uh, I need one volunteer more. One or two more will be all right. I uh, have Janelle. Hello, Janelle. I choose Las Vegas. Las Vegas. What's interesting about about it? Las Vegas is a city in American state of Nevada. We are uh, there were 640,922 people living in the city in 2015. Wow, besides that, there are a lot of visitors, right? Everybody wants to go to Las Vegas. I mean, 
It will be really nice to go there. Excellent, Janel. And is there anybody else? The last person, Xiomara. Go ahead, Xiomara. I talk uh, about the city of the Los Angeles. It's a street and the Hispanic people uh, who live there. Who, who live or who live there? Live. I live, live there. there. Very good, Xiomara. Thank you very much. Now, time to look for information and start learning a lot of vocabulary, all right, for Monday. Bye, chicos. Claros con la actividad para el lunes. Uno, dos minutos máximo. Muy bien pronunciado, muy bien practicado y sin la necesidad de estar leyendo. Va a ser opcional si usted quiere participar o no, pero yo les hago, eh, eh, les, les sugiero que cada vez que yo abra estos espacios, que ustedes los aprovechen para practicar. Que ustedes mismos se vayan dando cuenta cómo van escalando con el idioma, ¿ok? Que nadie les diga, que un examen no les diga cuánto usted ha avanzado, sino que ustedes mismos estén conscientes de cuánto lo han hecho. Eso es más importante. Uh, voy a terminar eh, um, asegurándome que no me he equivocado con el listado de asistencia. Ok, no veo a David Roberto. No lo escuché en la clase. Um, Esmeralda Isabel. Juan Antonio. Marco Antonio. Wow, Marco es la primera vez que nos falta la clase. En um, Sonia Rebeca. Stephanie Michel. En The Last One, Víctor Alfredo. No, entonces no, no estoy equivocado. All right. Now, just to finish, people, because we have only two minutes. Hey, felicitarlos porque este, en realidad el grupo está, está genial. Eh, la mayoría está asistiendo en su horario. Sabemos que solo son 60 minutos que hay que sacarle el máximo de provecho, ¿verdad? Y este, les sugiero que mmm, no, no falten a las sesiones porque imaginémonos ahora eh, aquellos que por algún motivo no pudieron asistir eh, tienen la oportunidad de ver el video, ok, so, eso no es problema, pero eh, creería que ya les tocaría como as, invertir más tiempo ¿verdad? Yo sé que ustedes son personas ocupadas y algunas veces como que no tenemos ese tiempo como para estar revisando qué es lo que pasó en la clase anterior, por eso les sugiero que si nos conectemos siempre en las clases, que nos mantengamos motivados ¿verdad? a seguir aprendiendo, a seguir practicando, que cada día que entremos a la clase, wow, que eh, traer algo que nos sorprenda a todos. Y de repente vamos a decir, wow, yo veo que Jonel ya avanzó. Y ahí nos vamos a ir dando cuenta todos, que todos vamos a ir avanzando. Vamos a ir dándonos cuenta que si Omar ya avanzó, que Ricardo ya avanzó, pero si alguien no está conectándose a las clases, solo va a ver que los demás van para arriba con el idioma y que él se está quedando atrás, o él, él o ella. Entonces hay que evitar eso. Hay que tratar de ir todos, si no hago al, al mismo ritmo, pero por lo menos hay que ir tratando de avanzar este, todos juntos. Eso es lo importante. No sé si hay alguna observación o algo que quieran agregar. Les recomiendo siempre, por lo menos, vaya, por ahí, eh, ustedes se, se compartieron la, los listados de 100 verbos. Yo hice la sugerencia pues, que se compartieran algunos verbos. Alguien en el grupo colocó 100 regulares y 100 irregulares. O sea, hay que aprendérselos. Hay que, hay que por lo menos, que uno, unos 5 verbos diarios, creo que eso lo vamos a consumir súper rápido. Ok, y ya van a ir más preparados para ir al intermedio y ya luego al avanzado y pues culminar con el curso. Otra cosa, chicos, mañana eh, vamos a hacer un repaso del de midterm. Espero que todos lo hayan terminado, ok, y que hayan obtenido puntajes que sean satisfactorios para ustedes 
eh, principalmente y luego para mí como profe. Ok. Eh, no sé si hay algo más. No hay nada más. Ok, si no hay más, no. nos quedamos por acá y nos vemos mañana. See you tomorrow, people. Let me see. There is someone who has questions here. See ya. Take care. Ok, see you. See yeah, you tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. See you later. See you later. Tomorrow we good have night, classes, teacher. right? Hello. Good ok, teacher. good night. See you later. See you later. Ricardo, tomorrow we are having classes, right? Okay. Thanks, okay. Teacher. See you. Hey, thank you, Moses. See you tomorrow. Bye, Christian. Good night, teacher. Good night, Claudia. See you later.